What's up everyone, it's Hey John, and the markets, well, they are skyrocketing, and there's a good reason for that. Have you heard of something called Celsius? Have you heard of something called a Chapter 11, a reorg? Have you heard of something called Celsius going bankrupt? Well, if you've heard any of these terminologies, any of these headlines, any of these phrases, let me tell you one thing and one thing right now. This is all very bullish for a cryptocurrency. However, on the flip side, for the users in these platforms like Voyager and Celsius, well, for them, it's hell. But for everyone else outside of that CEX, where you're actually in the DeFi space using a wallet where you own the keys, and as I've been saying for many, many videos, not your keys, not your crypto. Now, the reason why this is so bullish for cryptocurrency and the reason why you're seeing the rise of cryptocurrency and a sharp one at that and nonstop, it's simply put because of a Chapter 11 reorganization. The TLDR is basically that if you were in Chapter 7, this means that you must liquidate all assets and distribute whatever you get for them amongst the users. In this case here, when you go to chapter 11 to reorg, essentially what this means is that you are going to emerge out of bankruptcy and you will retain all your assets. However, though, the users who were there initially, they may get only pennies on a dollar for what they are supposed to get. Now, they are literally screwed. The reason why I know this is because I've been in some stocks in the past where they did a chapter 11 reorg and well that is what happened to me it was a drawn out process you get letters in the mail you took about a year or two years in my case and i literally got pennies on a dollar however though what happened to that particular company is that when they merged they retained all assets and they literally dropped all debt now i have to say that is fantastic for the company as a whole but Again, for the users and the people who purchase and use your product, well, we all got royally screwed. So with that being said, if you understand that concept, what this means is that Celsius and Voyager, they hold a tremendous amount of Bitcoin. And there's a reason why for the past few weeks, you've been seeing Celsius on the headlines. Celsius has paid several hundreds of million dollars in their debt to not get liquidated. And the reason why they did this was not for your sake or for my sake. They did it because they already knew that they were going to do a chapter 11 reorg. And they want to make sure that when they emerge out of bankruptcy, they retain their assets. And their assets, well, it's essentially their cryptocurrency. Well, I should really say your cryptocurrency that they now own. Now, this sure does sound dirty, but this is a legal practice in US of A in America. It's in the court system and many companies in the New York Stock Exchange, they do perform and they do execute these actions. Now, it's unfortunate that folks are getting reamed and taken to the cleaners. But again, as a whole for cryptocurrency, it's a great thing because imagine what happens if Voyager, Celsius, they liquidate their Bitcoin and cryptocurrency assets. So ladies and gentlemen, they hold hundreds of millions of millions of dollars of these assets. And imagine what happens if a liquidator has to sell all of it immediately. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you get the Bitcoin $10,000 scenario. Since that is now off the table and it's official that we are literally seeing a chapter 11 reorg, this is why people are coming back into cryptocurrency because contagion is over the ideas and the risk and possibility of getting liquidated overnight is no longer as big of a concern as it was and this is why people are throwing their money back into the markets however though no one is saying this what you're seeing on the news is stuff like this crypto lender celsius defends bitcoin mining plan as bankruptcy kicks off looking to get your funds out of a collapsed crypto platform don't get your hopes up. Celsius reveals 1.2 billion hole and floats Bitcoin mining fix during the first day of bankruptcy trial. You see, folks, what you're seeing here are the headlines. They're painting a picture where, well, everything sucks. But the truth is, for the folks who loan the money to Celsius to get their debt wiped off, these individuals, you better believe they have a back-end deal to get their money back. Because no one is going to loan someone hundreds of millions of dollars if there is no way to recoup it 
and you better believe these sharks they did the math and they know what it takes to get back their money and this is why they said you know what hmm I will lend you that money because, well, you're hurting and you need it. And as a shark, I can get a really good deal. And, hey, guess what? You get to survive, so we all get a win. And this is a problem when you have institutional money coming into the crypto space. You're going to see more and more of these events happen throughout time. Because all these companies offering you great benefits and to no detriment to yourself. Because, hey, where does it come from, right? It's crypto. It comes from, well, you know the sky, the moon. When I made the video about the crypto bottom, I made it several days or a week ago now. It's because I saw the rumblings I was reading in between the lines. And as you know, when you're in crypto or in stocks, you have to understand the news, well, it's paid for. Someone pays for it. And these headlines, well, they're made in a way where they need to sensationalize what it is in order to get viewership so they can sell their ads and make profits and make money. That's okay. That's the way it is. But as a user such as yourself, you need to be able to do some critical thinking and think outside the box and read in between the lines and always ask who stands to benefit the most. If you are able to do that, you will be able to understand what's going on and you will be able to make tons of money, whether you invest in penny stocks, big stocks, cryptocurrency, DJ and cryptocurrency. If you are able to hone the skill, you, my friend, will make lots of money in cryptocurrency and stocks. But what I want to say here is that everything is going to be great for cryptocurrency as a whole because of things like this happening. We are seeing the merging. We are seeing the converging of the real world and cryptocurrency. It's happening, folks right before your eyes i know folks are still out there gloom and doom saying hey guys cryptocurrency is going to zero the economy is going to zero everything's terrible yes we may get a few more pullbacks but what i'm saying here is that ladies and gentlemen the worst is already here the worst has been done what else could potentially happen to make it even worse well folks as you know in the world anything can happen and nobody knows so here we are looking at the top cryptos we can see Bitcoin at 23K at 5.29%, Ethereum 5.2%, literally 45% for the week, Bitcoin 17% for the week, BNB is up a whopping 19% for the week, 4% for the day, Solano up 36% for the week, 12% for the day, Manic is up a whopping 61% for the week because of so much good news. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let, let me ask you a question. Why would people put money into cryptocurrency right now if we are still in quote unquote hell mode? You're seeing Disney putting Matic into the accelerator program. Now, why in the world would Disney, yes, Disney, a top 100 stock, why would they bother wasting their money in crypto if it's dead? Well, ladies and gentlemen, do not forget many, many years ago, Mark Cuban, Mr. Wonderful, Kevin O'Leary, well, they were saying on CNBC and all the news outlets, oh, crypto sucks, blah, 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 blah. On the back end, they were buying it hand over fist. And then when it went to the moon, they said, hey, it's going even higher and you would buy some more while they were dumping. Today is no different. You're just seeing different actors, different individuals pumping their positions. And right now, when you're still in gloom and doom mode, it's because they want to accumulate and they want you, the retailers, to let go of your positions for cheap. Because how do you make money, folks, in anything, stocks or crypto? Buy low, sell high. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to this channel because, well, you know what? I would appreciate your support and I will catch you all on the next one.